Welcome to the hearing on the Subcommittee on Antitrust, Competition, Policy, and Consumer Rights. Today we're pleased to have with us a distinguished panel of witnesses and testify about vertical consolidation within the healthcare industry. We appreciate you taking the time to be with us today and we're grateful for the expertise you're willing to lend to us on the subcommittee. We're holding this hearing to examine the competitive implications of vertical mergers that have taken place within the healthcare industry. We'll also explore a little bit about oh, what might be driving uh, this trend toward consolidation in that industry. Over the past several years, we've seen several massive multi-billion dollar mergers combining the largest names in healthcare. But for every one of these mega deals, there are many more transactions that combine a number of different layers of the healthcare supply chain, many of which involve hospitals acquiring local physician practices. These deals are in many respects reshaping the way patients receive and pay for healthcare. We hope that these transactions might improve the quality and reduce the cost of healthcare, perhaps by eliminating inefficiencies and aligning incentives. But vertical integration can also easily enable uh, market power to be used in an anti-competitive manner, allowing the merged firm to use its new structure uh, to the disadvantage of others and, in some cases, to the harm of consumers. We'll take a look at all of these different issues this afternoon. Before we move on, let me say that uh, uh, I want to mention just a couple of words about recent congressional interest in the area of antitrust. Over the past year, this subcommittee has held several hearings examining monopolization, including looking at how the U.S. and the European Union analyze these issues and analyze them in a somewhat different way. We'll continue to hold hearings on this topic in the future. As we announced earlier today, we'll be holding a, uh, an oversight hearing in the next month to discuss antitrust enforcement by the Federal Trade Commission and by the Department of Justice's antitrust division. Now, as to why we have two antitrust agencies handling civil antitrust enforcement, well, that is beyond me. We've learned recently from leaks to the media that the agencies are gearing up to investigate the largest tech firms in the country. I hope they will do so prudently and that they'll be guided by the evidence and not by sloganeering, either from actors in industry or among politicians. What isn't clear to me is why or exactly how these agencies are divvying up these investigations amongst and between themselves. If we care about efficient and effective antitrust enforcement, and I think everyone on this subcommittee does, uh, particularly in an industry that's a key driver for our national economy, then we shouldn't be wasting duplicative resources on that effort or, or any important effort. We also shouldn't be splitting expertise between the agencies when many of the competition issues will be the same in each investigation, regardless of who happens to be in charge of the investigation in question. Now, ironically, it is the antitrust agencies themselves that appear to be engaging in market division here, putting their bureaucratic interests ahead of what's good for the American consumer. Antitrust enforcers could do a better job with the resources they have and be more effective in doing so if they focus less on what they each get out of these investigations and more on the principles of law they're charged with enforcing, more on protecting competition and therefore consumers themselves. 